My name is Dragana Srnjak. I'm Associate Professor of Art and Foundations Coordinator at Youngstown State University. I work primarily in drawing, painting, and site-specific installations. In the site-specific work, the specific architectural features of a given gallery space the shape the work and help me develop and formulate these unique ways a viewer can enter and experience the image within the particular space of a gallery um, or a museum. I'm interested in the perceptual shifts and the ways we perceive the visual information within the specific space. The wall drawing unfolding is uh, a charcoal drawing exploring perception as a process existing between sensing and perceiving, knowing and anticipating the density and softness of charcoal, which is its primary medium, was essential to emphasize both the boldness of the work as well as the sense of instability. My work overall has always been triggered by memory and anticipation. And what I mean by memory is simply my fascination with the ways we remember things and carry fragments of memories with us and how certain experiences and memories establish themselves as important uh, in shaping our identities. Then uh, anticipation relates to the immediacy of working with materials in a studio and images driven by the continuous longing for new clarity, new discoveries, uh, questioning of the familiar and also embracing of unpredictable. Currently, I'm working on small-scale drawings, which is fairly new to me, and I'm enjoying the intimacy of this scale. These small drawings measure 10 by 10 inches and are done on gessoed wooden panels with charcoal. Some of the drawings are based on domestic and familiar patterns I grew up around. The images for table studies here, for example, are based on crocheted embroideries I kept after my grandmother passed away last year. Of course, there is a, an initial sentiment attached to these images, but I was mainly interested in the subtle ways these small domestic elements um, can appear as transforming into landscapes, shifting from these intimate and personal spaces into the new fabricated uh, landscapes, becoming sort of mental landscapes. I wanted in these images to have both documentary, realistic look while keeping them uh, as a dreamlike at the same time. What is extremely exciting to me at this point in, um, in my studio, um, I'm able to work through many different images and ideas quickly to test and to allow failures um, and accumulate the work which now as a body of work is appearing to be a sort of, of cartography of my thinking. The work truly is diagramming mm. the subtle changes, discoveries, memories, and uh, all those questions that pop up and occupy me daily. On one hand, I like to restrict myself and keep the choice of materials to a minimum while testing and pushing the exploration of surfaces and wide range of processes. Image full field four, for example, is based on a digitally manipulated pattern I developed from a collected embroidery uh, that appears as if it's falling apart or coming together slowly. I'm very interested in the potentials each medium 
offers and I'm drawn to the softness and handmade imperfections that charcoal on wood panel usually brings. These tensions between organic, uh, loose and geometric controlled imagery. With the goal to have 25 to 30 drawings uh, completed and displayed in a long line, I'm working on developing a specific kind of viewing experience that will have a sort of, of cinematic quality. As a viewer moves from the first to second, third, and so on, some imagery will reappear, build uh, sort of immediate memories for the viewer, hopefully slow down and invite the viewer to make connections between the images. And while staying fragmented and open-ended, the body of work will build a different visual narrative for each viewer. The images in the series are all developed digitally first and the process of transferring them onto the wood panels involves printing and digital stenciling. This is an exciting and new process uh, I'm currently exploring. On one hand, the process has great formal and technical benefits as I'm able to easily duplicate and manipulate images. Um, on another hand, the process allows me to expand the conceptual aspects of the work. Through digital reproduction and repetition, the work directly speaks to the ways we consume, uh, process, and live with visual information today. Living in a world of moving images, we are all accustomed to shifting, swiping, storing, erasing, or marking images continuously. And the um, stubborn singularity of paintings, I believe, has this new potential and perhaps uh, revived meaning in our world and culture today. The, the softness of charcoal in Blushy Monday drawing, for example, along the precise geometry of the painted acrylic elements emphasize this dichotomy between the slow contemplative sense of time and the faster dynamic elements in the work. Most recently, a few weeks ago, precisely as I was working on digitally zooming in and out of images on my computer, these latest images have shifted unexpectedly. Uh, within a few days, our world has shifted and changed dramatically. And while looking at these images, I was, I was seeing them differently and could not help but think about proximities and distances between the shapes here. And the negative empty spaces suddenly became charged with new potential meanings. Seeing the work through this new lens made me realize again art is alive and powerful as it can capture those subtle impalpable realities we can't verbally always define or describe that yet are very real and are moving us. The, these latest drawings now are titled simply Days, as they become records of something I don't quite understand yet, but they do help me process and document the uncertainties. In a, and in a strange way, art helps me understand the world around me.